All right, an exciting day for the San Diego State Aztecs. They have landed Danny O'Neill. He announced on social media earlier today that he is committed to San Diego State. This was a big target for Sean Lewis and the San Diego State Aztecs, their coaching staff, the football program. This is someone that committed to Colorado, then decommitted a couple days before Sean Lewis ended up becoming the next head coach of San Diego State. So I'm not surprised that Danny O'Neill ends up coming to San Diego State. I think we were all connecting the dots there. Like, oh, okay, so he decommits. Then shortly thereafter, there's news that the guy that, why he committed to Colorado, like a big reason why he went there wasn't because of Dion, but because of the relationship that he had with Sean Lewis. That guy decommits from there. Oh, Sean Lewis comes to San Diego State. Hmm, he's available. He's out there. Makes a visit. Seems like that went well. Obviously, it did. And then here he commits to San Diego State. It was down to Northwestern, Miami, and SDSU. But I did see here in the San Diego Union Tribune that there were actually a good amount of offers, 20 scholarship offers for Danny O'Neill, including a dozen from Power 5 schools. Now, would he have started? Would he have had as good of an opportunity to become a star at that university? Don't know. Probably not. According to 24-7 Sports, he is ranked in the top 40 in quarterbacks, I believe, in high school out of this recruiting class. So talented, obviously, I think over like 9,000 total yards in high school, 7,786 passing yards, 99 touchdowns, along with uh, 1,320 rushing yards, an additional 31 touchdowns there on the ground. He went to high school in Indianapolis, I believe or Indiana. Indiana is where he, well, it says on, on Twitter, it says he was tweeting from Indianapolis, Indiana. So yeah, I went to high school there at Cathedral High. A lot of scholarship offers. He said, obviously I had a prior relationship with Coach Lewis, but getting to know the rest of the assistant coaches out there was a good time. Daniel O'Neill told San Diego Union Tribune on Monday after his recruiting visit, then just seeing what San Diego had to offer. Beautiful city, beautiful campus, good school. So definitely checking a lot of boxes. The cathedral coach, Bill Peebles, told the UT if he ends up landing at San Diego State, they're getting a good one. He's highly, high, highly competitive kid. Once we got him here at Cathedral, the thing that stood out was his intelligence. He's a moxie kid. He knows how to win games. Kept us in a lot of games. So, I mean, look. I trust Sean Lewis. I trust this coaching staff, what they were looking for. And it seems like this guy's pretty darn talented. Um, I guess the one the one concern maybe would be the height, I guess. That's why he was not a four-star quarterback and considered a three-star quarterback. I'm not going to act like I know a ton about the difference between a, a four-star and a three-star quarterback. Like, why is someone considered a four-star, not a three-star? Why are they a three-star, not a four-star? But just reading around, I guess the height could be a little bit of a question mark there, but there's been successful smaller quarterbacks. And, you know, again, Sean Lewis, I think he knows what he's talking about offensively. And this is a huge commitment for San Diego State. Like, there's no doubt about that. Um, sure, we don't know what he's going to give to San Diego State on the field, but this wouldn't have happened under the Brady Hoke era. It, it didn't happen. You know, th there was Braxton Burmeister, who was from, I believe, Virginia Tech, someone like that. But I'm talking about commit, big time commit out of high school, wanting to come play for San Diego State. Like that just wasn't happening. You were getting someone like Jalen Maiden, who was at Mississippi State, but obviously wasn't going to get an opportunity there. Then he was a safety, then becomes a quarterback at San Diego State. It was stuff like that. You weren't getting Danny O'Neill quarterback. He was committed to Colorado, who was obviously getting all of this attention at the beginning of this call this past college football season and decommits and then comes to San Diego State, wants to be at San Diego State. San Diego State beating out Miami, Northwestern, other Power 5 programs that offered a scholarship to Danny O'Neill. You weren't seeing that. So this is positive. I don't know if Danny O'Neill is going to start as a freshman. Maybe he takes a redshirt year. We shall see. Um, it was put in the San Diego Union Tribune's article here Credit to Kirk Kenny, who wrote this piece today, that San Diego State should be expected to get a quarterback out of the transfer portal. So that is definitely something to pay attention to. But yeah, I mean, this is good news for sure. I think for Aztecs fans and Aztecs fans wanted offense. They wanted 
to get a new quarterback, and that's what they got here. So we don't know if this is going to like impact the team immediately. Is he going to be the quarterback, you know, starting next fall? We don't know that, but it seems like he's going to be the quarterback at some point here for this program. And sure seems like he's talented. And I think he's going to be definitely throwing the ball in the air more, uh, have more bigger games offensively than someone like Jalen Maiden did. So yeah, I see this as a step in the right direction and we'll see. What other commits are going to come to San Diego State now because they see that the Aztecs landed Danny O'Neill? Maybe there's some guys that met Danny O'Neill on the recruiting visit this past weekend that want to play with Danny O'Neill. Now they know he's at state. Now maybe they want to come along. Who knows? Who knows what the effect of this is? I just know that this was the big name. If if you could point to one big name that was mentioned after the Aztecs brought in Sean, Sean Lewis, the one big name was Danny O'Neill. And they've landed him. So props to the Aztecs for doing that. And hopefully this ends up being the right decision for Danny O'Neill.